Hi, and welcome to the brand new season of The Music Makers. I'm Terry Miller, your host. If you're not already familiar with our series, The Music Makers brings you original music from some of the best musical artists in the Quad State area and beyond. These are musicians who are writing, producing new original music, working hard to get their music out to you. This week's guest artist is originally from right here in Washington County, Maryland. Not only does he play locally in the Hagerstown area, but he's also busy traveling and playing on the road. We are pleased to welcome country artist Josh Morningstar with us today. He's next on Antietam Productions, The Music Makers. The great times and good fun have now gotten even better at Malou's Grill and Pub at Park Circle. Their friendly, casual dining experience brings a little taste of everything to everyone. From their famous burgers and sandwiches, to mouth-watering appetizers, to their specialty items and daily specials like their bangers and mash, there's no better place to pull up a chair, get comfortable, and enjoy great food and company. Malou's at Park Circle. Discover what makes them a hidden treasure in Hagerstown, Virginia Avenue at Park Circle. I would personally like to thank our thousands of loyal customers at Antrim Way Honda. And I'd also like to invite everyone to come and experience a better way from Antrim Way Honda. Our better way is giving you the best experience. That means having the most friendly, knowledgeable, and courteous staff, along with the area's finest service department and amenities. There's more, our best price guarantee. Simply put, we'll beat any other Honda dealer's price. Price, selection, and a better way, all from Antrim Way Honda, home of the best price guarantee. Antrim Way Honda in Greencastle. Blue Ridge is the premier culinary academy within the four state region. We start with the teachers. They have decades of experience behind them. Each teacher brings a different skill set to the table. The chefs that, that teach these classes are very accomplished. We offer uh, very affordable tuition and we have a very low student to teacher ratio. I will go to Blue Ridge Community Technical College for their culinary arts program because you can go places in this academy. It's here. It's breathtaking. It's ultra fast. Gigabit Internet. Fiber to your home. Fiber to your business. Contact Antietam Broadband to find out more about Flight Gigabit Direct Fiber Connection for home and business. So how about it everyone? Are you looking for something to do this weekend? Don't worry, I got the hookup. I'm Michelle Hurst with an invitation for you to join me every Thursday evening at 6.10, Friday at 9.10 a.m., 1.10 p.m. and 6.10 p.m. and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. and noon for What's Next TV. If you want the weekend events happening in Washington County and beyond, catch me next time on What's Next TV. So what do you say? Let's make a date. I'll see you soon. Welcome back to The Music Makers. We're proud to welcome our guest today, Josh Morningstar. Josh, it's great to have you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you know, I, I, I've seen some of your promo and you're dressed to the nines today. And I just got to tell you that when I knew you were coming, I knew you were going to be Natalie dressed, so I ironed my T-shirt just for this occasion. <laughs> well, I do appreciate it. You look wonderful. So. Yeah. Well, what I want, what I, what I guess our fans to know and your fans to know is uh, what got you into country music? Because I know a little bit of your history because I've, I've known you for a while off and on. And uh, I think you started out in kind of a rock Mm -hmm. kind of thing like it was more like a Lincoln Park um, feel and yes, now I see you got this Hank Williams kind of <laughs> look and and I've heard your music so I know you, you're really pure from the hard country so how'd you get there it's the hat man that's, that's, why, that's why I get the hang thing but uh no I, I growing up uh I live with my grandparents I spent a lot of time with my grandparents and they <laughs> listen to uh things like Hank Williams Ernest Hub all that kind of stuff uh then, that's, that was old school then for yes, them. Sir, yeah, yes, sir. Because that's like 50s yeah, country. 40s and 50s, yeah. yes, sir. And then, uh, like all teenagers do, I hit my rebellious stage. Yeah. And uh, I got into rock and roll and heavy metal and hip hop and all that kind of stuff. And then. Uh, You're quite good at it, too. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we'll keep that Doug in the past somewhere. Well, that's, but, and you learn from everything. You <laughs> learn from everything. You're not, you're not lying, yes, sir. But. Uh, See, I, I went through my rebellious stage, and I got into all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, my first serious band was uh, General Population, yeah. which, uh, which you were familiar with. And uh, But that whole time, and actually one of the big arguments in GP was, uh, 
I spent money on studio time to go in and record my country songs that I was writing as opposed to, to putting that towards the band. Yeah. So uh, the country music has always been there, not necessarily at the forefront, but in the back of my mind, it's it's always been there. And, you know, you get older and, and you get out of the sex, drugs, and rock and roll a little bit, and uh, this is just a much better fit for but, me these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it seems to fit you well. Well, I appreciate it. Um, those influences, uh, Tubb and, and Hank Williams, I know that, that, again, we were talking about the 40s and 50s, and, you know, I actually listened to a lot of that when I was a kid, too, because mm -hmm. I, I found a stack of records in, like, in the attic the house we moved in and was playing on this little turntable, and it was all these, you know, 50s and 60s country and some yeah. rock and stuff, so, and uh, I remember as a kid, my mom would always have the radio station tuned to WYII Country out of Williamsport. I yes, don't know. Sir. Well, yeah. you're from the area, so yeah, I'm, well, yeah. you, you're probably familiar with that. So. Uh, yes, sir. WYII. Yeah. So I, I and I tell you, one of my favorite was Charlie Pride. I don't know if you're familiar oh. with that guy, but Kiss an Angel. Good, good morning. morning. Yeah. The what? gentleman that wrote that song actually signed me as a songwriter to a publishing deal in really? Nashville. Yes, well, I didn't even know that. Now, yeah. I just pulled that one out of the air, but that was just one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Ben, yeah. Peters. ben yeah, Peters. Yeah. Ben Peters. Um, carry on with that. You. You went from this rock rap kind of thing and you, and you were doing the country music on the side. At one point, did you just decide that this is the, really where my heart is and that's where I want to go? Uh, I went through a, a period of uh, drug addiction. And uh, once I cleaned up and uh, kind of got my life back in order, uh, these were the songs that just kind of came out. Pure. Uh, yeah, just... just uh, I, you know, I, I sit down to write and I don't write or sit down to write it intentionally any one kind of song. Um, it's just whatever comes out. And, and these are the kind of songs that, that come out. And that's kind of where I've uh, where I've landed is in that sort of underground country realm. Well, this um, this show's all about music. So what's the first song you got to play for us? A little thing called If We Jump. If We Jump. Mm -hmm. I might have heard that song earlier today. I believe you did, yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> if We Jump. Okay, Josh Morningstar with If We Jump. Thank you. Yeah, I'm bleeding, but I'm okay Just turn the cheek, don't speak, there's nothing left to say Tires screaming, you drive away And they say more than you could ever anyway you thought you'd found a diamond But I'm just a lump of coal And fire's nice to look at But it hurts too bad to hold And sometimes holding on Will hurt you more than letting go If we jump, do you think we'd float? I'm leaving No, please stay Has somehow become my favorite game to play I don't need you to Go away At this point it's not our choice for us to make you thought you'd found your sunshine But I'm storm clouds in the sky And rain is nice to look at But you fancy staying dry I'll bring you down Cause I can only lift you up so high If we jump, do you think we'd fly? Maybe we would die Maybe we'd survive Or maybe we don't matter You and I Let's try Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm bleeding. I'm not okay. Do you want to take charge of your income and life? Consider a career as a professional barber or cosmetologist. At Award Beauty School, you can train to be a barber or a cosmetologist. This is hands-on instruction by experienced teachers that takes less than a year. You can be your own boss, earn a good living. What more could you want? Change your life. Call Award Beauty School now, 301-733-4520, or visit us on the web at www.awardbeautyschool.com. We do our, our food our way. You know, we take the traditional and spin it. This is Eric Mills. He was voted best chef by Hagerstown Magazine readers, and he's part of the success of Rick's Cafe. Along with co-owner Rick Chalker, they've created a dining destination in Hagerstown. Voted best overall restaurant, best casual, and best family-friendly restaurant. Great food, great service in a warm and friendly environment. Rick's Cafe in the South End Shopping Center. We love good food as much as you do. I would personally like to thank our thousands of loyal customers at Antrimoy Honda, and I'd also like to invite everyone to come and experience a better way from Antrimoy Honda. Our better way is giving you the best experience. That means having the most friendly, knowledgeable, and courteous staff, along with the area's finest service department and amenities. There's more, our best price guarantee. Simply put, we'll beat any other Honda dealer's price. Price, selection, and a better way, all from Antrimoy Honda, home of the best price guarantee. Antrimoy Honda in Greencastle. Blue Ridge is the premier culinary academy within the four state region. We start with the teachers. They have decades of experience behind them. Each teacher brings a different skill set to the table. The chefs that, that teach these classes are very accomplished. We offer uh, very affordable tuition and we have a very low student to teacher ratio. I will go to Blue Ridge Community Technical College for their culinary arts program because you can go places in this academy. Welcome back. We're with our guest, Josh Morningstar. Great tune if we jump. Oh, man, I appreciate it. I love the you. lyrics, man. A nice, poignant, heartfelt song. Everybody's had a broken heart at one point or another. Oh, you I've, know, had, I've had two or three. Hey, man, yes, sir. I've probably yeah. broken two or three. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no doubt in my mind. <laughs> hey, um, we were talking off camera earlier, and, and you talked about this car that you had, and you've put all these tons of miles on it. <laughs> and when, in the opening, we even uh, talked about you being from the area, from Hagerstown, you are still in the area, right? Yes, sir. But you, you are a road dog. You are out there doing that road warrior thing. And um, how did that come about? I mean, you know, I know that every gig you can get, but you had to have some support of somebody out there trying to direct you in that way. And I have an angel. Uh, <laughs> I, I do, man. Uh, my wife, Tess, uh, is incredible. She's the most supportive person I have ever met of my music. Uh, and I, I, she saved my life, man. I was a heroin addict, uh, bad, real bad. And uh, I've always said that if it hadn't been for her, I wouldn't be here today. There's no doubt in my mind about that. So uh, once everything, once I gotten kind of cleaned up and gotten my life back together, she kind of gave me a swift kick in the butt and said, you're going to do this because you're going to be miserable doing anything else. So I just started going to play any place that'll have me, anytime they would have me. And we figured it out. I think I've hit all 48 continental, continental yeah, states. Yeah. 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 I think I've hit them all now. So. Oh, wow. So, so how did you get, um, did you have management or somebody that was finding you gigs or, you know, something like that? I've, I've really just done everything myself. I've been fortunate to have, uh, some help here and there. Uh, uh, Waylon Jennings' son, Buddy, uh, helped. He was managing me for a while. Uh, another one of Waylon's son, Shooter, uh, took me on the road with him and Waylon's old band, Waymore's Outlaws, quite a few times. So that's that's kind of helped. Uh, but mainly, it's just a a lot of emails, a lot of phone calls. Yeah, I think I've <laughs> seen uh, maybe some cuts on YouTube of you doing some openings for Shooter. Mm -hmm, yep, they're that, out there, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. We. I've. Uh, I. Couldn't even tell you how many runs I've done with those guys. It's been a lot. Uh, I've gotten to play some pretty iconic venues with them too, uh, the Georgia Theater, uh, you know, places like that. It, they've been so great to me. I, I couldn't say anything bad about Shooter if I wanted to. What, so. what, wasn't the family managing at one point or something like that? Yeah, uh, Wayland's uh, another one of Wayland's sons, Buddy, and his wife Kathy were my management for a while, and. Uh, I'm a lot to deal with, <laughs> so I, I still You're love diva. Them. Yeah, I, I we were can talking be. About divas yeah, earlier. yeah, I can be, uh, but uh, I'm still on great terms with the whole Jennings family. Kathy's actually, uh, she's marrying us here in a couple of days, and uh, 
so the, the Jennings family's been so great to me and can't thank them enough. D don't feel bad about being a diva. My daughter called me a dra drama queen last night. I'll take it. Heck yeah, <laughs> we're in good company now, man. So, um, Getting back to the road thing, you were t you know you do some shows in Nashville. Didn't you have a little stint at a at a uh, place in Nashville for a while? Yes, sir. I've done the Lower Broadway thing uh, down there. Uh, I played at Layla's every Tuesday. I would leave uh, Hagerstown on Monday night. I would drive to Nashville to play the lunch shift at Layla's. The lunch on, shift, yeah. yeah. Hey, you take whatever slot they That's give you. That's right. right. Yes, sir. Uh, so eleven to two uh, every Tuesday, I would hop in the car, drive back to Hagerstown to be back in town by Wednesday to for your Wednesday Lighters show. Tavern. Yes, sir. And that's yeah. that's yeah. That's you got that regular gig there. Every Wednesday and Sunday night. Wednesdays at eight. Sundays at six. Sundays are all ages. I watch my mouth. That's a, see, that's a free plug. <laughs> that's right. This ain't my first radio, brother. I know how to get him in there. <laughs> well, listen, uh, what are you going to play for us next? Uh, so we mentioned a bit uh, my addiction. This next one is a song I wrote about uh, uh, some of the people that I hope see this show that used to sell me pills. It's called Damn These Birds. Damn These Birds. <laughs> Josh Morningstar with Damn These Birds. I met a mockingbird, she sang a song to me, gave me some fentanyl, flew off on broken wings. I tried to catch her, but I couldn't catch a break. So I made myself a game, let's see how many I can take. Hey, I met a whippoorwill, she said let's make a bet, gave me a hundred pills, morphine and Percocet. Bet I couldn't take them all If I didn't, I didn't die He'd teach me how to fall Cause he can't teach me how to fly These birds Damn these birds Their ways Persuasive words Killing pain Doesn't hurt Damn these birds Conversating with the raven Black as every night has been Asked if I would like to partake In taking Vicodin I couldn't fight with him Ended up overdose Blue jay, blue gray skin Laying comatose Broken old crows On a fence post Leaning Split a fifth of cough Serve codeine Between us then When intravenous with A little Demerol Body shook, jerks just hook off these birds. Damn these birds, their ways persuasive words. Killing pain, it doesn't hurt. Damn these birds. a bird tweet these birds damn these birds damn their ways persuasive words killing pain doesn't hurt damn these birds digging worms out of my dirt damn these birds Blue Ridge is the premier culinary academy within the four state region. We start with the teachers. They have decades of experience behind them. Each teacher brings a different skill set to the table. The chefs that, that teach these classes are very accomplished. We offer uh, very affordable tuition and we have a very low student to teacher ratio. I will go to Blue Ridge Community Technical College for their culinary arts program because you can go places in this academy. It's here. It's breathtaking. It's ultra fast. Gigabit Internet. Fiber to your home. Fiber to your business. 
contact Antietam Broadband to find out more about Flight Gigabit Direct Fiber Connection for home and business. The great times and good fun have now gotten even better at Malou's Grill and Pub at Park Circle. Their friendly, casual dining experience brings a little taste of everything to everyone. From their famous burgers and sandwiches, to mouth-watering appetizers, to their specialty items and daily specials like their bangers and mash, there's no better place to pull up a chair, get comfortable, and enjoy great food and company. Malou's at Park Circle. Discover what makes them a hidden treasure in Hagerstown, Virginia Avenue at Park Circle. Do you want to take charge of your income and life? Consider a career as a professional barber or cosmetologist. At Award Beauty School, you can train to be a barber or a cosmetologist. This is hands-on instruction by experienced teachers that takes less than a year. You can be your own boss, earn a good living. What more could you want? Change your life. Call Award Beauty School now, 301-733-4520, or visit us on the web at www.awardbeautyschool.com. So how about it, everyone? Are you looking for something to do this weekend? Don't worry, I got the hookup. I'm Michelle Hurst with an invitation for you to join me every Thursday evening at 6.10, Friday at 9.10 a.m., 1.10 p.m., and 6.10 p.m., and Saturday morning at 9 a.m. and noon for What's Next TV. If you want the weekend events happening in Washington County and beyond, catch me next time on What's Next TV. So what do you say? Let's make a date. I'll see you soon. Welcome back with our guest, Josh Morningstar. Damn these birds. Eh, great tune. I can feel it. I, know, I mean, well, the imagery, too, with using birds, but it's really people, dealers, or whatever. But mm -hmm. I could just feel the, the emotion coming out of that song. And I, lo I loved your little bird chirp at the end. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, it's, so. it's, it's kind of a heavy thing, so I try to lighten it up. You did lighten you know it up. I mean? But, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, it's good that you can talk about, you know, your past and, and sobriety and you hope those people that are in the song got gets a chance to see it. Hopefully they're still around. Yeah, yeah. Well. So, um, yeah, you put out your first CD in, what, 2015? Uh, no, actually, the first one came out uh, 2012. 2012? Yeah, okay, so it's, okay, yeah. I got my but notes But the last, wrong. the one you're talking about was was the first one that kind of had a national release. Right, it, it right. Had a label That's what I was, it. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. were with a label and yeah. all that. So I didn't know that there was an independent one before that. A couple of them. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, just, just so I didn't do my homework. So oh, I, man, there ain't much homework to do, brother. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, so that one came out in 15, and it was like a national release, and now you have a new record coming out September 29th, correct? Yes, sir. And where was that recorded? And, and, and we'll talk about that when you... Was that recorded locally or in Nashville? Or? Yeah, uh, I, I'm late to the party, but I just found Echo's recording studio uh, down in Sharpsburg, uh, Todd Stotler, and he is... Uh, that's by far the best studio I've ever worked in. I've worked in Nashville. I've worked in Atlanta, all over the place. But Todd is such a great guy and knows his equipment so well that it's been the most enjoyable ex recording experience that I've had. Now, Todd's not a sponsor, folks, but this is two shows in a row we've had him brought Oh, up man. <laughs> See, I did. <laughs> so the last good. act we had in there recorded in there, too. But awesome. so this is in Sharpsburg. I wasn't even familiar with it until the, the last group we had on here said they recorded there. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, because I kind of know where things are going on around this area, but that's mm -hmm. new. So Todd's got a background just in general recording, or is it mostly country? Uh, I think he's a... The biggest Beatles fan I've ever oh, met. Oh, well, there's so, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that his background is kind of everything. Yeah. And he just, uh, he knows what he's doing so much that he can do whatever. So whatever you went in there and, and did you self-produce or did you have a producer? Yep, self-producing. Uh, I like things done my way, you know. Uh, so uh, I, I figured might as well, doing everything else myself, might as well produce the thing myself. I have, uh, my band is backing me up their best group of players I've ever been I've ever worked with uh I've just been I've been real lucky here as of late and and who are the guys that play on the record with you uh, Bobby Miller is the lead guitarist uh Greg Johnson's a steel guitarist uh Michelle Lucas is the bass and background vocals uh Eric Avey plays drums but we also have Todd playing drums for okay. us on some as well okay so. cool so producing your own record that means you got to get those guys to see your vision so, you know, sometimes it's like herding cats, but but did that work out for you? <laughs> it, it did, and uh, it's the band that I use live. They're the bands with us at the Tavern every week, so we kind of know each other very well and uh, because we play together so often. And I'm pretty good about voicing what I want, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, I also kind of can... I, I don't have a problem laying back and letting those guys do what they do because they're all 
superb musician. Sometimes you get so. great, just great pieces of music because you, you are a little bit more free. Yes, sir. You know, nothing yep. so stiff. Yeah. So um, the album's coming out the 29th of September. How many songs are on it? It'll be 10. 10 songs. Mm -hmm. You wrote all of them or yes, co-wrote all of them? I wrote all of them. You know, I wish the show was longer. There's so much more I want oh, to talk man. to you about. <laughs> I mean, we've got, we, we've got all kinds of stuff we didn't even get to touch on. Well, what, season three, man. I mean, season three, we'll have to bring you back and finish <laughs> up. What's the, what's the next song you're going to play for our show? Uh, this is one that I wrote. It's kind of a, a, a mixture of, of two stories. Uh, it's kind of about my neighbors, but it's also about uh, some people that I knew. I spent a lot of time in Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a mixture of those two stories. It's called uh, Ashley, Chris, Leslie, and Bryce. What he said, coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley and Chris, Leslie and Bryce Lived in a duplex at Walter and White Through paper thin walls I heard all their fights about things Chris wouldn't stop Ashley would work while Chris would stay home He'd leave both the kids in the playroom alone Go out and come back all smiles and stoned on something much stronger than pot. Daddy, would you buy this dog for me? I want it so bad that it hurts. Daddy, outside it's 95 degrees. Why are you wearing a long sleeve shirt? Daddy, don't leave prices so mean. Why do your eyes look like that? Ashley and Chris would tell Leslie and Bryce That they shouldn't worry, it'd all be alright Read Leslie a book and sing softly to Bryce Then they'd fight till they saw the sun Ashley would scream, she'd poke and she'd pry Chris would just sit in the corner and nod High off of something and swear that he's not But he ain't fooling no one Daddy, how long is my mom gonna sleep? And right now, shouldn't she be at work? Daddy, how come mommy don't have to breathe? And why is there blood on your shirt? Daddy, don't leave prices so mean to me. Why are you crying? I don't understand. Daddy, why is there a gun in your hand? Ashley and Chris. Leslie and Bryce lived in a duplex at Walter and White. Through paper thin walls, I heard all their fights until one night the fighting just stopped. Great song, Josh. Thank you. Man. I think you had everybody on set crying on that one. Oh, is that on the new album? It is, yes, sir. Okay, now if your fans want to find you, where do they find you? Uh, joshmorningstar.com. If you search Josh Morningstar on Facebook, you'll find me every uh, Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern every day. I do a live show, just coffee and cigarettes. And then every Wednesday night, uh, the band and I are at the Leitersburg Tavern, Wednesday and Sundays, Leitersburg Tavern in Leitersburg, Maryland. Uh, Wednesdays at 8, Sundays at 6. Other than that, I'm all over the place. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not very hard to find well, if you're looking. And that <laughs> album comes out September 29th, and I know you got a big show coming up after that with... Uh, Shooter Jennings. And yep. So, and we're happy to have you on here. So, well, I really appreciate you, Terry. Thank thanks. You. Thanks. Um, well, that's it for this edition of The Music Makers. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash The Music Makers TV. I'm Terry Miller, and thanks again for watching The Music Makers, only on WCL TV. We'll see you next time. <laughs>